Welcome back. Would you eat your favourite takeaway if it was made in a laboratory? The thought of 3D printed nuggets might not sound appetising, but scientists say you won't be able to taste the difference. There's only one Kentucky Fried Chicken, always cooked fresh, with Colonel Sanders' original secret recipe of 11 different herbs and spices. Until now. For in this Russian lab, your next tasty KFC meal is being prepared. Just finishing off some seafood for another customer first. This one is a squid. Yes, KFC has partnered with Russian scientists to develop lab-made chicken nuggets. Shut up and take my money. Hot on the heels of fake meat, now comes a plethora of pantry palatables. Spinach, broccoli, chicken, salmon, kind of, whole, kind of just runs the gamut. We were experimenting with a lot of new ingredients as well. Welcome to the future. Your printable food comes safely packaged in cartridges. Finger looking good. I suppose a laboratory in a kitchen, as long as it's clean. <laughs> Wouldn't put you off? No. Mmm, mmm. Simply take some cells from a real chicken, multiply them in the lab into a paste, and gently place that into a printer, similar to the one in your home office. Turn that paste into sheets, and layer upon layer, turn those sheets into cubes. Presto, you've got chicken nuggets. I'm gonna go get some KFC nuggets. So. <laughs> Stand around a KFC long enough, like I did today, and you'll learn. Would you eat them if they were made in a lab? Yeah. I don't see why not, no. People aren't put yeah. off by it. Yeah, I would. If yeah. they tasted the same, what's yeah. the difference? Yeah, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't be able to tell. Personally, I'd probably prefer it. Well, Joanna, I'm guessing you've never had one of those. <laughs> no, I haven't. Joanna McMillan you know, is a nutritional them. scientist. Why are we making food in a lab now? Well, we have two big problems. One is environmental and sustainability kind of issues. Yeah. And the second is creating enough meat to feed the world's growing population. Would there be nutritional value in something that's made in a lab? Well, no, there's not. And that's what's a little frustrating for me, is why don't we think about recreating meat in the lab, but also make it healthier? And that's what's not happening. There's no substitute for real chicken. Adam Stratton is a proud old-fashioned butcher. You remember the ones he used to cut up not create meat. There'd be a difference in texture, the taste, and, um, you know, like natural, how can you go past natural products? He won't be finger licking, and I also suspect an old colonel might be turning in his grave. Good chicken. Next, they'll be telling us those yummy crab sticks aren't. Oh, hold on a second. Whether or not they make it in the lab or not doesn't bother me. You'd still eat it. Yeah. What do you think? Would you eat a printed nugget? Let us know in our Facebook poll. So far, just 13% of you are game. 87% will pass.